Hello students, welcome to Global Online University. In this video, we will look at a mock test on information and communication technology for your upcoming North East Set 2022 Paper 1 preparation. This mock test will include 50 questions. Each question will carry 2 marks and there will be no negative marking. Do write your scores in the comment section uh, to let us know how much this unit is prepared for you. After watching this complete video, you will certainly get a clear idea of what kind of questions will come in the examination and it will increase your knowledge of this unit in the for the examination. So to help you prepare better, we at Global Online University has brought for you complete course on North East Set 2022 Paper 1 which will include 40 plus mock tests with solution PDF, comprehensive notes on all the units, video lectures and practice MCQs. So if you study from this material, you will not have to spend any time on any other material because this material is more than sufficient for your preparation and the remaining time you can focus on your paper too. So the fees for paper 1 is just 999. We also have theory notes plus mcqs for paper 2 as well so you can contact on the number on the screen and we, we will also provide you paper 2 material as well the fees for paper 2 material is also 999 so do join and achieve the target of cracking northeast set this mock test is based on ict and the first question is what is the full form of iot so IOT means Internet of Things. The right answer is option C. So internal, IOT means it is the physical network uh, where different objects, they are connected because they have sensors, softwares and technologies. For instance, these days you can operate your air conditioner also with your mobile. Also, um, there are so many things that are connected. For example, your smart watch, watch they are connected to your Mobiles, whenever there is a message on the mobile, you can see it on your smartphone. What is all this? All these is Internet of Things because there are certain physical objects that have sensors, software and technology which help them to communicate with each other. So that is IOT, Internet of Things. It helps with wireless communication of different objects. A digital signature is called a digitally scanned signature, handwritten signature, encrypted information or verbally communicated message. So a digital signature is a encrypted information. It means like there is there are certain digital documents that you want to send. So what do you do it? You put a digital signature on it. So when it is received by the receiver, if the digital signature is valid, it means that the information that was inside it has not been altered while transmission. So the right answer is option C. It is an encrypted information. That means if it goes in the network, nobody is able to break it or change it. Okay, so here the right answer is C. Where does a computer add and compare its memory or its data? So you know, Compare uh, a computer, it is responsible for uh, modification of data, it works on data. So, this comparison is done where in the computer? So, it is done in the CPU. So, CPU it consists of there are three components of CPU control unit, ALU logical unit, and memory unit. So, this comparison is done by the ALU which is inside CPU. So in these four options, the right answer is option A. Comparison of data is done by CPU. Bandwidth of data communication is a measure of its physical dimension, data communication capacity, electrical parameters or physical strength. So bandwidth of data is the data communication capacity. We say GBPS per second. What is gigabytes per second? These are data communication capacity which is the bandwidth of data which malicious program cannot do anything until actions are taken to activate the file attached by the malware so malware if you have not heard of this term malware is related to software like software 
they are useful to do some kind of task like a web browser but malware are those software whose main intention is to harm your computer okay so malware are softwares which are intended to harm a particular computer so which malicious program cannot do anything until actions are taken to activate the files so here the answer is option c there are different types of malware so virus is those malware which cannot do anything until you open the file okay if there is a virus in certain file like file 1 unless and until you open this file nothing will happen to the computer but as in when you open it your computer will become infected while worms on the other hand worm is also a kind of malware but these do not require human act intervention without human intervention also they are able to transfer from one computer to the other okay so virus require you to put some action or you need to open the file only then it will get infected the tags placed on animals to record and track in a database all of the animal movements are known as rfid the right answer is option b rfid stands for radio frequency identification so these tags are used to see where the animals are sometimes they are also used to calculate the number of animals or count in a place a computer program that directly translates a program statement by statement into machine language is called so this question is very important i must tell you because every year in one of the examinations it will come regarding <coughs> program translation so interpreter interpreter is the program that translates a computer program into machine language you know that computer do not understand your language or my language they understand only binary language and humans they understand high level languages english language we understand so we have formed a high level language which is like english this helps you to code so this english language has to be converted into binary language the task of conversion from high level language to binary language is done by a translator so a, a different type there are different type of translator language translators are there a compiler there is compiler but why the answer to this question is interpreter and not compiler because interpreter does this task statement by statement okay while compiler it translate one code into another in once at once okay the whole code is translated at once but interpreter it goes line by line it will translate one statement then other statement like this it will go on so the if this line is written instead instead of saying a program and one go agar question ye bolta hai ki ek computer program jo directly translate karta hai program ko in one go if the question might have said in one go then the answer would be compiler but if the question says statement by statement or line by line mark the answer as d read the following two statements okay so there are two statement given in this question and you have to tell if both are correct or neither are correct or if first second is correct or if first is correct so ict is considered as a subset of it so this statement is incorrect because it is the opposite that is correct ict is the bigger circle this is ict and it is the subset of ict okay and not it is not the vice versa so this is incorrect while this is correct it is the subset of ict okay the right to piece use a piece of software is termed as copyright so this statement is correct hence option c is the right answer only second statement is correct 
what is the full form of the abbreviation cd rom so you might have heard about cd rom we, we have used it extensively cd rom stands for compact disk read only memory the right answer is option c over here why it is read only memory because we cannot change it the manufacturer they write it once and we cannot make any changes to read only memory because it says read only that is why it can be only read and not written right answer is c multimedia comprises of so what does a multimedia comprises comprise of audio or text video audio video only or text audio video so a multimedia comprises of all these things multi means many and media means the medium of communication so if you are using multiple mediums of communication you are using text also audio also video also all these things if you are combining multiple mediums if you are using it is called multimedia for example slides you see powerpoint slides they are a very good example of multimedia next question is Information and communication technology comprises of online learning, learning through mobile application, video based learning or all of the above. So ICT, information and communication technology comprises of all these above. Online learning as well as learning through mobile, mobile application also video based learning. So all these are the right answer. Python is a programming language operating system search engine or snake so you might have heard about programming language these languages are used to write computer codes so python is a kind of a programming language also python is a kind of a snake it is a very poisonous snake so a and d are right answer to this question okay next next question which type of memory holds the computer startup routine? So when the computer starts, which memory is responsible, which has all the information about the computer startup? So that is ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. So there is a program called BIOS that is embedded inside the ROM. It means basic input output system. So it has all the information about booting. Booting means when you click the power button of the computer and when the desktop appears on the screen or the time frame that happens between 30 seconds or one minute. So at that time booting process is done which is done by BIOS program which is inside the ROM. Okay, so ROM read only memory it holds the computer startup information. Second next question. Given below are two statements, one is assertion and one is reason. Now we have to tell if both are true, but R is not the correct explanation. Or if both are true and R is the correct explanation of A. If A is true, but R is, A is false, but R is true. Or if A is true, but R is false. So once I have told you, now going forward, I will not tell you about this options. Okay, there are multiple assertion and reason in this video. Okay, so the first statement that is assertion is says total number of mobile users are increasing rapidly. Yes, this statement is true because you know, we know nowadays every uh, uh, a small child or a elderly person, everybody has is using a mobile phone. So the total number of mobile users are increasing, right? So this is correct. Let's look at the reason. The cost of mobile is decreasing. Yes, this is also very true. Uh, 15 years ago, uh, the simple mobile that had that had only buttons, it used to cost 10 to 15,000 rupees. But now we get smartphone also in the range of 8,000 or 5,000. So the cost of mobile is decreasing or has decreased. That is why the number of mobile users have increased. So here both are correct and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion okay both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a okay b is the right answer the file extension of ms word document in office 2007 is 
and so file extension or file formats are very important for the exam perspective do study them for your paper one file extension of ms word document is docs d o c x from ms word 2007 or office 2007 and above docs was has been started to use before that only doc was used but now docs is used what is the binary of number 9 so this conversion from decimal to binary this number is a decimal number right 9 how will you convert it to binary first what do you do if such a question comes write a number like this okay and make two lines like this now write 2 over here divide this by 9 divide 2 by 9 so what will be the quotient quotient will be 4 and the remainder will be 1 okay 2 fours are 8 and remainder will be 1 again divide 2 by 4 you will get quotient 2 remainder 0 then again divide 2 by 2 you will get quotient 1 and remainder 0 so here but whenever you are writing the answer the answer will be in reverse order okay 1 0 0 1 in this situation if you write 1 0 1 that is also true but if like this if it is the answer 1 1 0 0 1 so the answer will be 1 1 0 0 1 okay and not opposite it will not be the opposite so here the answer is option b 1 0 0 1 when you are converting decimal to binary just write the number keep on dividing it by 2 write the quotient here and the remainder at this side while answering write it in the reverse order from bottom go upwards and you will get the answer decimal to binary is very simple what is the full form of bias so in previous slide i have told you if there was one question about which memory holds the computer startup routine for that question the answer was rom so at the in that question i did tell you about bias so bias stands for basic input output system so this is the program that contains all information about computer start how is is the computer going to communicate with the hardware all that information is stored in is all the information is done by the bias program the full form of it is basic input output system computer hardware consists of computer table monitor and cpu software and google so computer hardware are those computer devices that can be touched okay so you can touch a um, a mouse or a monitor or a cpu but you cannot touch a software because software are programs that you cannot touch google it is a website that is also not a computer hardware and computer table so this is not a computer hardware you 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 cannot say computer table is a hardware or computer cover is a hardware that will not come in hardware okay computer hardware are those devices which can be touched for example keyboard mouse one is labeled as assertion and the other is the reason assertion says nowadays many online courses are available and their popularity is increasing reason is selecting a right course from many such is a big channel challenge so here this is true online courses that are available are continuously increasing but the reason is not right the reason should be why these are online courses are increasing or the popularity is increasing so individually this statement is correct that choosing a right course is very difficult because there are so many options but it is not the correct explanation of assertion so here the right answer is option a af system is used in which number system so binary number system it consists of zeros and ones so the base to binary number system is 2 for octal the base is 8 so there you have numbers from 0 to 7 okay hexadecimal is the number system which has 16 as the base okay so 16 is the base where 
you have numbers from 0 to 9 and then you have letters from A to F. So total there are 16, 10 numerals and 6 alphabets. That is why the basic 16 decimal is between 0 and 9 and the base is 10. So the number system that has A and F you can see clearly from the screen is option C. The following storage devices hard disk cd room dvd room now arrange this in ascending order of storage capacity ascending order means smaller to bigger so the least or which storage device that has least capacity is cd room then is dvd and the highest capacity is hard disk so the answer is 2 3 and 1 option a is the right answer okay is the right answer here which of the following is not suitable in the context of email the question says which is not suitable so it is a letter sent over a computer network yes this is true it is used to send unsolicited messages yes this is true for students who do not know the meaning of unsolicited it means that it unsolicited means unchaha that is not wanted so there are so many advertisement that you get on your email if you might have seen. So that are called unsolicited messages. Email address include a domain name. Domain name like uh, .com or .edu or these are domain name or which is added at the end of the email address. So which statement that is not true is email is a snail mail. So option C is incorrect. Next question, a virus type that is capable of shifting from one computer to another without user interaction is known as a worm. So here by chance if the option would have been virus at that time also you would not have selected virus because virus requires human activation. If there is a software or a file you will have to open it only then virus will come. But worm are a kind of malware who do not require human interaction. Without interaction also, it has the power to go from one computer to the other and infecting all the computers. A confidential file needs to be deleted from a workstation. What is the most effective way to ensure it? So there is a confidential file. A confidential file means a secret file which you want to delete. If you rename the file, that is also not a good option because anyways it is going to be there in the computer. Compress the file and backup. Oh, backup means you are keeping it safe on the tape. So that is also a not, not a good option. Copy and paste the file into the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin. So if you copy and paste it, there will be a original file already present even if you empty the recycle bin. But if you drag the file into the recycle bin and then delete it, then the file will be deleted permanently. So D is the most effective way or the best way to delete a confidential file. In a computer related activities, what is the full form of worm? So worm means write once and read many. So there are many examples of a worm like CD, read write it means so read uh, write once read many uh, it means there are certain type of storage devices which are written once but they can be read many many times you remember we used to in like 10 12 years ago we used to bring cds to watch movies at that time that those kind of CDs that were written once, only once data was written on it, but it could be run many times because the manufacturer used to put a film on that CD, but you had the opportunity to read it as many times as you want to read it. Okay, so that is the full form of a worm. Do not confuse it with malware. That is a different thing. Your worm means write once and read many. So in computer, 
in computer related activities which of the following is inappropriate for describing a language translator so in one of the question we talked about interpreter that is a language translator assembler is also a lang language translator it is used to translate um, assembly assembly language and compiler is used to translate high level languages and so is interpreter but codec is not a kind of language translator okay so interpreter translates your program in statement by statement while compiler does it in one go and assembler is also a kind of language translator a very important question which of the following is the most suitable for being designed as fourth generation language so the fourth generation language is java so here the right answer is option b okay assertion and reason question again so assertion says sniffing may be used to steal data or information over a network yes sniffing it is a term which is used to describe the data packets that are going to a network to read or to get data from those packet that is known as sniffing reason is sniffing is a process of one monitoring and capturing all data part packets passing through the given network yes this is also true so in this question the right answer is option b because both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of assertion you might have also heard of the term phishing phishing is also a computer term which is important it means deliberately there are uh, soft uh, there are sites which want you to write your personal information so that they can misuse it so that is phishing but sniffing is some data is going on over the network and to steal steal those those data that is called sniffing so select the options that allow only optical storage media so in this question optical storage media if you look at this is the right answer is dvd digital versatile disc cd r cd r means cd recordable blu ray disc and cd read write so optical storage media means it uses light to write data on it so usb it is not optical storage media so here this is incorrect here in this question also so here the statement is also incorrect here hard disk is there that is why this option is incorrect okay next question this is a match the following question um students i would like to tell you that these days match the following has been asked extensively so study these for your examination it is very important blogging so blogging is a kind of a social media A three, okay. Then television. Television is a kind of electronic media. Periodicals is a kind of a print media. While collection of site is World Wide Web. So the answer is three one two four three one two four. D is the right answer. One more information. This is a question from communication unit. But you see. The, all the units are connected as well this question is a very good question because they have asked you communication unit as well as ict in one single question a beautiful question blogging is a kind of social media because you write blogs and people are able to read it share it television is an electronic media periodical is print media while collection of sites is world wide web that is www one more question is um match the following question so here the options are 50 into decimal 102 and decimal real time video conferencing sms texting so before solving it let's see first we will solve this maybe we'll get the answer real time video conferencing is synchronous communication yes 
because synchronous communication is when those people those are communicating they are present at the same time but in asynchronous they are present in different time sms texting is a kind of asynchronous media also email is an example of asynchronous media so now the options that are left so the answer should be c should be 3 and d should be 4 c3 and d4 so here you see the this has c3 and d4 so that means now you will have to solve one of these to get the answer okay because two options has this same so when you will solve these what is the decimal 15 decimal is how much in binary let's solve as I already told you in one of the question how to solve decimal to binary. Divide 2 by 50. Write the question 25. The remainder will be 0. Again divide 25 by 2. The remainder will be 12. Quotient will be 12 and remainder 1. 2 6 are 12. Remainder 0. 2 3 are 6. Remainder 0. 2 1s are 2 and remains a 0. So the answer is. Okay, just a second. 2, 25, 2, 12, 2, 6, 0, 2, 3, 6, remainder 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, remainder 0. So, actually remainder will be 1. Okay, 2, 1, 0, 2 and remainder will be 1. So, here the uh, as I told you, the answer is, is should be written in the reverse order. 110010. Okay, so let's see which is the answer. 110010. So, 15 decimal is this much in binary. So, A should be 1. A1. So, here the answer should be C because A is 1 and B is 2. For your information, I will just solve 102 also. How to solve 102? Divided by 2, the remainder will be 51 and the remainder will be 0. 225, remainder 1. 212, remainder 1. 26, remainder 0. 23, remainder 0. 21, remainder 1. So here it will be 1100110. So the answer is 102 is this much in binary. Okay. Now you will be able to convert decimal to binary. Very simple. Okay. Next question. Assertion says blog is a form of social media. Yes, this is true. A blog allows anyone to communicate to a public audience. Yes, this is also true. So, in this question, both are correct. Assertion and reason are true. And R is the correct explanation of A. So, B is the right answer. Next question. Again, assertion and reason. IT is becoming, is fast becoming a very important field of activity in India. Yes, this is true. You know, there are so many Companies in India, IT companies, TCS, Infosys, Wipro, there are like thousands of IT companies. Software, the reason says software is one of the major export of India and further India has strong base in hardware. No, the reason is incorrect because we are usually better at providing services to other companies. So there are less number of product based companies as service based company so we are not exporting software and india is not india does not have a very good base with hardware so reason is incorrect in this question only assertion is true a is true and r is false okay right answer is d which of the following is major issue arising out of growing reliance on information technology yes security threats are increasing there is a cyber attacks also. Now there are hackers who are able to get money from your bank account. So security threat is there. Also there are 
privacy concern there are people who can misuse your photos that we put on social media so privacy concern is there but there is nothing related profitability issue is not there with it so here in this question the major issue is only b and c again uh, match the following question so there is list 1 and list 2 voip voip stands for voice over internet protocol so it is used for making calls over the internet so voip if you match this will be second fiber optic cable so optic means light first option says make use of light pulse to transmit data so here first option is correct for this url url is text used to used by web browsers yes you might have seen http colon slash google.com that is url so that is text used by web browsers and utp cable utp stands for unshielded twisted pair cable it is used as, as a form of lan extensively in the form of lan that is used for connecting small buildings so here the answer answer should be 2143 let's see 2143 b is the right answer over here select the option that include file format suitable for distributing sound files across the internet so for transferring sound files we have different file formats we have already discussed image video audios uh, and the text or program files but for sound files we use option d wmv is windows media video it is a video file while wma it is a windows media audio it is a audio file avi is also a audio video interleave midi stands for musical instrument digital interface wave stands for audio file wave is a kind of audio file format so here mp3 it is one of the most famous audio file formats so the right answer is option d which of the following communication technologies employ only asynchronous communication video conferencing email forums instant messaging so asynchronous communication means people who are communicating are present at the at different space and time so here the answer is email and forums b and c because video conferencing is synchronous communication and instant messaging is also a kind of synchronous communication okay so if they talk about asynchronous communication email is a kind of synchronous asynchronous and forums are asynchronous communication okay in a computer a byte consists of one byte is equals to eight bits and one nibble is equals to four bits which of the following is a type of virus so internet worm is a type of virus it does not require human interaction for spreading from one computer to the other mooc it stands for massive open online course so it is a platform where are online courses are available for everyone for free which of the following is not a search engine so search engine is a kind of service that allows you to search documents on the world wide web so chrome is not a search engine because chrome is a web browser while the question asked about search engine google is a search engine yahoo is a search engine and bing is also a kind of search engine chrome is a web browser so web browsers are programs that is helps you to access the internet which of the following represents 1 billion characters so if the question asks about 1 million characters students remember it is going to be megabyte if it asks about 1 billion characters it is going to be gigabyte and if the question asks about 1 trillion character it is terabyte so remember m for million t for trillion but this you will have to remember 1 gb or 1 gigabyte is equals to 1 billion characters is the right answer 
which of the following is not a open source software so open source softwares are those softwares which under a particular license they are given to a person and then they have the power to make changes to it make modifications and they, they can also distribute it to the others so those are open source which according to a person particular license they have the power to change or modify the software and then distribute it internet explorer is a closed source software by microsoft okay while linux open office and apache server all these are open source softwares one terabyte is equals to how many gigabytes so the relation between tb and gb is 1000 only when 1000 gigabyte will come together it will form one tb terabyte given below are two statements search engines are known as web browsers this 189.352.250.2 is a valid ip address so you have to tell if both statements are true or if one or both are false so in this question both of the statements are false because search engine are not web browsers in one of the question recently we saw search engine are, is a particular service that help you to access the world wide web while web browsers they are applications so both are not the same thing because web google chrome is the example of web browser and google is a kind of a search engine if you look at the second statement why am i saying that this is a false statement because when you ever you see ip address all these numbers they are, have to be in the range from 0 to 255 okay so it cannot be less uh, more than 255 if it is more than 255 that IP address is invalid so because all the numbers should be in the range of 1 to 255 one digit is wrong that is why this IP address is invalid so both statements are false again a match the following question has come a very nice question to test your knowledge see in this question it says RAM RAM stands for random access memory memory so it holds the computer of uh, programs currently being used in the computer so a you will have to match it with 4 cd rom is uh, sorry dvd rom is digital versatile disk read only memory so it can be written only once because it is read only memory it is going to be 3 alu alu means arithmetic logic unit so it is used for comparison computation and comparison so the option will be second cpu is the brain of the computer so the answer is going to be 4 3 2 1 let's match 4 3 2 1 a is the right answer to this question okay in the internet world computers are identified by ip address ip means internet protocol address so there are certain rules for IP address. There should be four digits separated by dots and the number should be all the digits should be in the range of 0 to 255. There are certain numbers that are reserved but in simple terms I would like to tell you IP addresses are used to identify a web, web resource. No, any computer. IP address are used to identify computers or uh, networking devices on the internet. Which of the following is a programming language? So programming language is Java. Java is one of the programming languages. Programming languages are used to write code and for the conversion of this language or this source code you use language translator so language translator could be a, a compiler or interpreter again i match the following question www it stands for world wide web python is a kind of a programming language 
RAM stands for random access memory and it is a volatile memory while ROM is a non-volatile memory. So the answer should be 3412. 3412. D should be the right answer. Which description is appropriate among the following for e-governance? So e-governance when the governance is done through the use of internet, it is called e-governance. The best description is option A to engage, enable and empower the citizens is the right answer. Dash represents raw facts where, whereas dash is processed meaningful data. So raw facts is known as data and when that data is processed, it is known as information. So the right answer is B. First blank should be data and the other blank should contain information. Which of the following storage devices store maximum amount of data? Floppy disk, compact disk, hard disk or magnetic optic disk. So here the answer is option C, hard disk. Nowadays we have hard disk in the range of terabytes it, it can have data till more than terabyte okay so this is the uh, final question um, i request you to write your scores in the comment section also let us know if you like this video or not if you like it don't forget to click the thumbs up button and um, do subscribe our channel so that you never miss an update from our channel so we'll uh, meet tomorrow. The second video of this mock test will be uploaded tomorrow at 8 a.m. Do watch it and let us know how you like it.